particularly in this year, in 2024, the main threat to the strength of democracies worldwide are the possible changes through a U.S. election. We have seen since 2016 major controlling institutions of the democracy, including um, the court system and, of course, the function of a free and fair press. In the United States, every month, 2.5 newspapers, local newspapers, die. So the fact that you have less information, our institutions are weakened from the inside, and then make themselves available to populists all over the world, that we face a major threat in the European parliamentary elections. If we don't uphold the functionality of our institutions, as we saw in Poland, it makes it all the more difficult to restore them. Well, the first thing is to understand that we all have an individual responsibility in democracy, that democracy is voting, yes, but the other thing is to understand that we have to invest in our communities. How you are present in civic and civil discourse is how you show up every day for your own democracy. Whether it feels like big time democracy or not, that is what strengthens democracy. When the EU goes to vote, when we all go to vote in June, it is to say that we need to strengthen the functionality of our institutions, because if we don't hold fast to the basic principles of what makes the EU the EU, the entire capacity of the world's biggest, longest peace project on Earth falls apart. So if we don't see that responsibility together as something that we need to make clear to our citizens, both in the United States and in Europe, then we have failed the basic demands of what a democratic civic infrastructure really wants of us and needs of us.